Hey everyone, welcome to another video. For those of you who are new here, my name is Katrina and I live in Alberta, Canada. And Canada gave us winter this week. It was so cold. I think it was day before yesterday on my way to work, my truck. And I guess I should just say, I'm in Canada, so any temperatures I say today, it's in Celsius. So on my way to work, it was, I think it hit minus 36 degrees Celsius, which I've seen my truck hit minus 40. And for those of you who don't know, truck thermometers do not go any lower than minus 40. So there's probably been times where it's been colder than minus 40, but my truck just doesn't tell me that, which I'm fine with that. I don't know, want to know it's colder than minus 40. And there was also a wind chill that morning, so it was probably colder than minus 40. Today is much warmer, and that's why I'm finally able to vlog outside because my hand won't completely freeze off while I'm holding my camera. So because it was so cold, I thought for this week's video, I would show you guys how I take care of my horses and what I do when it is that stinking cold because yeah, it's not fun. So let's get into it. So I will just say that I don't do anything with my horses when it's that cold. I don't ride, I don't hand walk, I don't anything. My cutoff for riding in the winter is minus 10. If it is colder than that, I am not riding. That's also my cutoff for hauling. So that means if it is colder than minus 10, I'm not hauling to an arena or anything like that because let's say I haul to an arena. I work my horse, he gets sweaty, he's got a winter coat, which means he's got a bunch of hair that is now wet, it takes forever to dry, and then he has to sit in a trailer to get home, which is a very good recipe to get a sick horse, which I don't want, so minus 10 is the cutoff. If it is minus 40, I am, they are just sitting, standing still, we aren't doing anything. My hands can hardly stay warm enough for me to do chores, let alone, let alone like work with a horse, ride a horse, anything like that. So they just sit in their pasture. Their job is to just survive, eat, drink, and just make it through until it warms up. As I've mentioned in videos before, I do give my horses supplements, ration, so Junior gets his senior ration, Diesel gets his performance ration, and they both get just this general mineral. It's all from Hoffman's. And when it's that cold, they still get that. This time of year, Diesel is getting less just because he's not getting worked as much, but they still get fed their ration mineral mix every day, twice a day, once in the morning and once at night. horses hay in the winter obviously there's no grass to be found so I 
am using round bales this year and I'm opting to just fork it over for them rather than just having it in a round feeder full feed for them. This way I can control how much they're getting. Some people think you should feed more hay in when it's really, really cold, but you have to take into consideration a few things. So my horses aren't getting rode. So their caloric expenditure from that is down. They also don't move a whole lot when it's that cold. Like everyone just kind of hunkers down and just tries to survive when it's that cold. So they're not moving a lot in general. Yes, food eating does help them generate heat, but it's not as much as you would think. So um, yeah, I, I fed them the same throughout the entire week when it was really cold. I didn't feed them more. I do monitor their weight. If I do say I started noticing that they were losing weight, I would definitely obviously feed them more. But like in the example of Diesel, he did lose weight or he was slim, a bit too lean coming into winter. I did get some weight on him and now he's perfect. So I don't need to be making my horses fat. I don't want fat horses. I don't want them super skinny, but they don't need to be fat either. So I get that the want to feed your horses more, but it could be killing them with kindness, if you know what I mean. So, so this is the round feeder where I this is the round feeder that I scoop the hay into. So they're actually eating basically off the ground, but as you can see, there's no, there's zero waste at all. And having them eat off the ground, as opposed to eating off that feeder, this feeder can actually cause issues with their spine, with their teeth. It is much, much better for horses to eat off the ground that's how they're designed so i'm definitely utilizing this a lot more so in terms of water we've struggled for the past several years with water we had an automatic water and like when it was getting like minus 40 it would freeze and then we would have to be out in that weather trying to get a water unthawed so my horses had water I told my husband this year, enough. We are blowing that out and I'm using my old school thing that I know works. So I've showed it in a previous video. I think I showed it in my winter horse care myths that I'll link to this video and in the show notes. Um, it's just super, super simple. Very few things that can go wrong with it. So we use just yeah, it's just a stock water, and then this is a de-icer. So it generates just enough heat to keep the water from freezing. I'm not sure what the temperature of the water would be. I'm guessing a few degrees over freezing. And then it's just run on a little bit of power. So it's plugged in over there at the front of the barn. The horses take about a week to go through that much water. So I keep my hose in a warm shop and then fill it up once a week and yeah it gets minus 40 this does not freeze so it's it does the trick and like i said in that winter horse care video you your horses need water 24 7 they are eating very very dry forage which increases their chances for colic if they don't have enough water so very very important and I will emphasize that every single time it comes up. I also just wanted to show you guys what I wear when it's that cold so this is like I don't know it's a snap-on hat. I know it looks super goofy but it keeps my head warm. When it's that cold I usually put my hood from my hoodie on and my hood from my hat so it's and then I also I don't have it with me I'll have a scarf to cover my nose, my mouth, get all that covered. I have, I don't know if you can see, I've got a wild rag on to keep my neck warm. Then I have a sweater on underneath 
this jacket. So I've got a sweater with a hood. I've got, this is a Carhartt chore coat. And then I've got these, these are Carhartt bib overalls. So that keeps my core warm. I'm never cold in my core or my legs. I've just got blue jeans on underneath my overalls. And then I've got just plain old Sorel winter boots. If you guys have watched any of my other videos, you know my hands are a struggle. Again, these are just my thin Walmart mittens. And I like wearing them because I can actually feel what I'm doing with my hands. I do wear, usually I have a second pair of gloves on. Um, I was wearing just ski gloves, which weren't cutting it. I've When it was really cold there, I switched to deer hide fleece lined or wool lined mittens mittens are the key is because they keep your fingers together which keeps them warmer but when it gets that cold it's kind of your fingers are going to get cold your toes are going to get cold it's not much you can do at that point so i know i kind of look not the sexiest outfit in the world I do not care it keeps me warm so that's what i wear around here one thing i forgot to mention is the barn so we do have a barn the horses do not go in the barn when it's that cold they are outside they have an open face shelter that they can go into they do not go into the barn the reason is the barn is really cold it it's kind of like an ice box actually with like the concrete and stuff. It is cold in there. Um, it does have a heater, but that heater has not been started in over a decade. And it is a fire risk if we turn it on at this point. Um, they just, they don't need to be inside. They've got blankets on and yeah. So they are, they are, my horses are outside 24 seven, regardless of the weather so and they do fine i know like i feel bad for them when it's that cold but like they they make it fine they are just fine i'll go out there and they have like it looks like white mascara on their eyelashes from the icicles and they'll be like frosty on their neck and stuff but they do just fine like i was just out there doing chores and they survived they're all good so I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but I feel like if you live in a place that has like something cool about it or whatever, it loses its mystique over time. Like I think people who go to Hawaii, I guess, they might think it's beautiful, but residents who live there, I'm sure they recognize that, but it just you get used to it over time just being in that environment like it doesn't seem as such a big deal as someone who goes to Hawaii for the first time but I will say I think I live in a pretty pretty place Alberta is very pretty and our quarter section of land specifically with the pond and everything I think it's really pretty and I walk past it every single day multiple times a day and I never get tired of it I think regardless of the time of year, except for maybe like fall before the snow flies and everything's just dead. Aside from that, I think it always, always looks beautiful. Tell me what you think. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! So as you can see, my horse care routine when it's that cold out is very simple. And that's because I end up minimizing my time at the barn during those days because mostly just because my hands get so cold and my nose gets cold. Even if I have a scarf, like my nose is all red and really irritated now from this past week because it just got so so cold <laughs> so 
unfortunately when it's that cold my time at the barn does get minimized it is what it is it's just part of living in alberta but as you can see it is it is manageable it sucks but we get through it <laughs> so i think i'm going to end the video there please be sure to hit the subscribe button like this video if you enjoyed it and be sure to follow me on instagram at strong in the saddle and until next time remember it's always a good day to ride